Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different reading. It's going to be a past life and past, present, and future um, life because we got some sticky, inf sticky situations going on. So we're going to find out where they stem from. Remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If, the, if you don't recognize this energy, don't take it. All right? Got imprisonment or slavery. Asia and Egypt. Hmm. So... This has something to do with the arts as well. Somebody could be of Asian descent, the other of Egyptian descent, or it could be two people I'm feeling that were possibly imprisoned or enslaved. Maybe they got loose in this lifetime and it might be where they're going back. We'll see. All right. Let's see what the other person has here. I don't know which one is which yet, so we'll figure that out. Which one is which? Native American, Celtic, and baby. Wow. Okay. So this is this is like serious um, spiritual warfare here. My guess is it's a mix of both. My guess is this person has Asian and Egyptian heritage, which is Middle East and. Southeast Asia, most likely. And then you, viewer, probably, are the baby of a Celtic Druid and a Native American. Innocent, guilty. Trust, faith, lessons, and blessings. Persecution and Inquisition. I knew it. Monk or nun. Male and female. So this is a masculine and a feminine. Let's see what kind of information we can get here. So who is this person? This imprisoned or slave, enslaved person? that was persecuted who are they now king of pentacles leo strength very strong king of pentacles who is now experiencing a serious tower. Oh wow. This got this got wild. Could have cancer in their chart as well. They were lied to about a wish that they wanted. Four of Wands. They wanted Emperor status. They were lied to about it. They were tricked. They thought if they paid enough people, they could have this star. Ooh. So, somebody bit off more than they could chew. Because this person is 
like an innocent they're like they're like a child like an innocent child but they're very strong in their belief they're very strong in their spirituality because celtic and celtic the druids and, and the native americans were vicious when it came to protecting their own and yeah and, and and not to mention to this day native americans still hold their spiritual strength like no other uh, I, I don't care what religion you you practice you will not find a stronger spiritual connection in the collective than the native native americans um that is the Polynesian Indian Native Americans, yes. Uh, so on this side, so I do feel like this is you, viewer. The world card, the nine of wands, the nine of swords, the three of swords, the page of wands, and the three of cups. You've seen the future, and you're 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 worried about it. You know, I mean, it's the world. So it, this is also another trait of the Native American, is that they care about Mother, which is the Earth, and the Druids are about the water of the Earth. And they're very hurt and upset because of what's been done to her through imprisonment of others and persecution and just all out and out destruction of what is now. They're getting ready. They're getting ready for something here. They're being prepared by their ancestors. Something's about to go down. And, and, and I can't say they're not scared. Because, but this, this person is an empress. This person is a king of pentacles. This person outranks this person. Because this person gave up their power to some kind of a guardian or god or something like that. This person did not. This person gave their power to God. To the whole. And in the present are upset because of what's going on right now. Especially in the collective. Possibly having sleep problems due to the, the just the the, the, the flat-out greed that's going on. They're going to put an end to whatever this magic is that this person is putting out because this person is attacking this other one on a constant basis. That's why they're, they're in the Three of Swords and they know, they know who this person is. They've heard it. The ancestors have given them the downloads. They know who this person is that's coming in. And, the, and, and, they're hurt because it may even be somebody they know and love could be a whole group could be a past life soulmate you know they're they're hurt that they would that you know these ancestors are attacking these ancestors basically it's not this person was warned by their ancestors not to come after this person. They did it anyway. They did it anyway. That started some kind of a basically a war. If you want to if you want to be for real for real. Because this person thought that they were going to be able to strong arm the other one out of their gift and the other one's just looking at them like they're they're pathetic and they're upset because 
they didn't think this person would do this. Four of Swords. Strength again. Somebody, this person is trying to heal. I got to give them credit. They may be watching this high priestess. Which it could be this baby over here. And trying to have strength. Because that's a stalker card. Trying to have the strength to send some kind of message. But the message that they want to send is not a good one. It's the four or five of pentacles with the five of cups. So, anything that they sent to this person that they were warned not to send. All it's done to this person really is maybe they've lost a little sleep. But they're more hurt by the action from the other than they are by, you know, then I don't think anything surprises this person. It's like Native Americans have that that calm about them a lot of times because they believe in this the great spirit and Mother Earth. And are they upset? Yes, they're upset. Are they defeated? Well, absolutely not because they're still peaceful. I hope that makes sense. This person is not. They're trying to gather their strength up to come and battle this other energy. And it's not necessary. This is why this person's upset. It's not necessary. Why, why do you have to do battle at all? I can tell you who's going to win. Love always wins. Even if you destroyed this person's life, love will be what wins. Whether you see it or you don't. It's the star and the moon. So they're going to try this on the full moon on the 25th. Today's the 22nd. I don't think they understand that they already see them coming. Protection has already been put into place. So whoever you are trying to come towards this and I do feel like it's a divine being. Maybe maybe this person was put away for what they did before and now they're out and they're trying to do it again. But they were warned not to do this again. Libra, Scorpio, and Leo energy. They were warned. This person did not get the great fortune that they were trying to get. They were disgraced. Now in despair and could be losing everything including their home. And and I do feel like they blame this other person when this other person didn't do nothing but meditate and love themselves and love love other people and be a part of a spiritual community a, a, a community a family of people that watched out for each other. Like I said, this baby could be, and I'm feeling orphan energy here. Maybe that's why 
maybe that's why they're, you know, got a little painful energy here. But I think it's more, it's more that they're, they're hurt because they already know. They're hurt because they already know what's ahead. And they, they really don't want to deal with it. They ain't going to have to. Spirit will deal with it for them. This person doesn't care about wealth. They care about family. Could be a mature woman. They don't get any money. They don't have any money. They don't care about money. They care about family. Just telling you the story. Somebody's definitely in bad health out of the two. Maybe perhaps this person got some bad news. Maybe not. Maybe it went back. I don't know. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Both of you are coming online and understanding who you are in the scheme of things. Investigate. Ask questions. Think before acting. Like I said, they have been told to sit the f*** down, all right, by the ancestors. They've been told not to go after this being. But this being knows that they're not listening to their higher self. They're not listening to their ancestors. It says, all in a golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. This is what they're after. They're, they're, they're understanding that this person over here holds the key to something they want. And this says, believe. Strange encounters. No shit. Like I said, I'm having weird dreams, guys, so I know what these strange encounters are. And, and and this person may have believed like they were a past life soulmate of this other person and maybe they believed that that um, they could love this person or they could be with this person and that's what's breaking their heart find the lesson Discover the purpose of the situation and trust that you are learning. So, yeah, they know what this is. This being over here knows what this person's doing. They know what this person's intentions are. They know what's coming. And they're, they're trying to find the lesson in it, even though they're not going to be happy with the way this turns out. Who are you? Who in the world are you getting to know the new you? And I think both of you are learning that. You are both understanding in the scheme of things where you were, where you're at now, and where you're headed. Whoever this person is, they're going to lose everything for coming after this person. 
and this person's just sad because they came after them and they've been blocked spirit got in the way of this there ain't no doubt in my mind this person's being disgraced maybe even publicly because the truth came out and the shadow's been exposed Ah, material harvest and rejoicing and celebration. So that's the Three of Cups twice. Both are becoming very, very aware of each other and the situation at hand. I do feel like this person was working with shadows. And they bet their happiness on it. This person was working with spirit. And although they may not be happy right now due to some kind of ailment or some kind of a maybe a money money issue at this point they're still open to fulfillment because of the lesson they took the lesson they know what's coming by this this full moon and they're protecting themselves although it does hurt i mean I can't ignore that three of swords there. They are very hurt by this person's action. But this person bet their happiness on it. And they were told to sit down and not mess with the other one. They did it anyway. That's why this person's hurt. They did it anyway tried to affect this person's health their relationships especially their relationships with other people Taurus Cancer and Pisces it's a choice it's always a choice somebody chose magic and somebody chose spirit. Always a choice, babies. Always a choice. Envy. Spell work. Fourth house. No way. This seems like a continuance of yesterday's healer. So, this jealous person is doing some serious spell work on this person's health, finances, and everything. For the fourth house, which is their home. And trying to bind a healer. Hmm... They're a vampire. They were they were disgraced. They were demoted. They they did not get away with whatever they were doing here. And now they're now they're even mad. More mad. Okay. See? This person uses alchemy. Which is spiritual strength and, and, and it's identifying things that are going on in the world or in their own energy and being able to alchemize them. So, this person saw the binding, the fake offer, and the true identity of this person. They both do. This one recognizes this one. This one recognizes that one. 
Whatever this offer was, this person knows it was a fake offer. They know that this person was trying to bind them in some way, shape, or form. And this person's about to get a payoff for their clairvoyant abilities. Because, like I said, this person saw this person coming. I do feel like this is you, viewer. So they alchemized the situation and made it their bitch. And this one's gung-ho and hellfire setting to get even, to, to, to make this one pay for something. For their own downfall. I mean, they started out a king of pentacles. Now they're disgraced and in despair because all they did, they came after someone who was peaceful, loving, caring, and they hurt them. With some kind of fake offer, some kind of binding bullshit, trying to take away their prosperity and their comfort. We're going to ask why. Why, spirit? Why is this person going after the other one? Why? What did this person do to this person? I'm hearing they were born. I don't know what that means. They were jealous of the way this person looked. What? Eh. Yeah, this person was just born. This person's just living. This person's just trying to survive here. And this person over here is has, has a dead set, uh, dead set intention of trying to take this one's blessings that are coming in because they've endured so much. I don't understand. Why can't you leave peaceful people alone? Because this person is peaceful. Because they got ghosted. Because whatever they sent out came back and smacked them right dab in the face. This person could have even had some kind of status, stardom, fame. This person's just a peaceful little, little, uh, nobody. They wanted their life. And now... They're getting their karma. And the wish they wanted for this person is now coming back to them. What's going to happen for my little angel over here? This baby. It's not a baby. It's a full-grown adult, but... I do feel like there's like a whole... And I'm getting tribal energy here. Like, this person might have a whole tribe. Like, lots of kids and stuff. Coming after the wrong mofo. I'm tell you. Yeah, this one knows that it's fighting demons.
whoever you are on this side, I would advise you to stay sober through the full moon. I mean, dance, sing, play, but please stay sober. Because you got something coming at you. And you need to be awake, alert, and aware. Alright? Seven of Swords and the five of, five of Swords. You got something coming after you. No partying around the campfire on the full moon, alright? I mean, dance, sing, and play, but watch. Watch this. Because you're going to have to be ready to block whatever's coming at you. Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Hierophant. Along with the World card and the King of Wands. You're going to have to block whatever's coming at you. Which is the Seven of Swords and Five of Swords. This person's coming at you with everything they got. And I'm not sure who this person is. So, you know, uh, it's a King of Wands. So it could be a fire sign, could be a Leo. Because I got Leo there. I also got uh, Scorpio. This person thinks you're responsible for their downfall. And they could very well be, be right. But it's not, it's not anything that, that you intended. It's something that happens to those who tempt the Lord, tempt fate, the Lord. This person's just watching out for their own. This person's out for themselves. They don't care about hurt. Who they hurt, what they got to do to them, don't care. They've been found out. All their secrets are coming out. And they've been ghosted. Possibly by a third party. Because I got the Three of Cups there and the Three of Cups there. Whoever this third party is, I feel like is this King of Wands. Or the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, take it as it resonates. There is a third person here that just ghosted this person for the way that they behaved. For the way that they acted towards this person. They found it out. I mean, Envy, Fourth House, Spell, Vampire, Shadow, The Truth came out, and an investigation was done. They bet their happiness on it. They bet their whole life on it. Whatever they owned, whatever they had they they thought this was in the bag because this was a peaceful person because they didn't think they would fight back well this person didn't have to fight back ancestors got them so to spirit because they're in their integrity and this person is going to get blocked but understand that if you let your guard down Spirit is telling you to keep that guard up. It's a higher font, seven of wands, the world, and the king of wands. To the page of cups. Keep your guard up during this full moon, viewer. Because somebody's going to give it one last try. And they're going to come out of the shadow. They're a vampire. And this is all revolving around some kind of a marriage. or It's Hierophant energy, so it's a contract. It's marriage. Somebody's coming in, possibly because they made a choice in love. And, then, and this is like a battle. A battle of the ex and a battle of the new. And they're... They, Spiritual warfare. Magicians flinging shit everywhere. And half of them not even know what the hell they're doing. 
They haven't even read any books. If they have, they definitely went down the dark road. <laughs> they went down the shadow road. Book of shadows. This person is standing strong in their faith. They're a warrior. There's no doubt about it. Stop looking outside yourself for the answers. You already know them. Your life is so special. Treat it with loving care. And never forget how resilient you are. You will always bounce back. So no matter what this person has done in your life at this point, it's it's going to shift it's going to go back to them they might even yeah i mean high honor in reverse and despair upright they're definitely going to be shamed publicly in some way shape or form no matter what they did to hurt this being over here Got the well watcher upright. The hungry ghosts in reverse. And the hawk prince in reverse. So let's read these because I do believe that they're relevant to this reading. Okay, so we get the well watcher. I think that's on the other. In the other pages. Yeah. Okay, so this came in as an ally. This says the well watcher signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the ma manifestation of my purpose. You will know the way forward by the still small voice within. The divine may also answer your call by sending others to help guide you. And the hawk prints in reverse. Spirit communication and paying attention. It says the hawk prince challenges you to pay attention and listen to the warnings being sent your way. Are you pushing forward in spite of others' cautionings about the direction you're headed? Are you refusing to listen? And this is this is advice for both sides. All right. Are you refusing to listen to your own inner voice? Red flags are waving on the breeze, and you're being challenged to, to heed their message. When the hawk prince descends as your challenger. It's an indication that something isn't quite right. Don't worry though. He always arrives just in time for you to let go of your old ideas and begin again. Spirit only wants what's best for you. And Spirit does only want what's best for you. For both of you. Because despite your darkness, whoever you are, you are still one of the all. And you need to get in touch with spirit. There's a Native American on this picture. Wow. Let's read the hungry ghosts in reverse. I kind of know what it says, but reading it makes more sense. 
and I want to give you accurate, accurate. I just saw this um, this little prayer in here. It says, "Let no harm ever be done, and remember that all life is one, with truth and with heart. May the highest be done, that all the realms may heal in the sun." Show me only my highest good, and for the highest good be done. Blessed be. Amen. Let's read The Hungry Ghost, and that'll be the end of this reading. Let me know in the comments if you like this reading, and I'll do more, more of them. If not, we'll move on to the next thing. All right. So this one says, this is obsessions, scarcity consciousness, and attachment. This says, when the hungry ghosts come to challenge you, it's a sign that you've succumbed to the fear of lack, which is whispering in your ear that you'll fail. Whatever it is you've intended, you stayed too long in the desiring stage. Longing and yearning have become your constant state of mind. Are you comparing your experience with others? Do you envy their success? Do you judge yourself only by the material accomplishments? Are you afraid that there will never be enough of anything and none of your dreams will be there upon waking, awaking in reality? Perhaps you've turned to compulsive eating, shopping, working, or drinking to distract yourself. What did I say? Keep a clear head, people. Let go of the illusion of lack and accept things, things as they are, perfect, abundant, meaningful expressions of the divine. There will never be enough for the hungry ghosts that challenge you. For, they, for the only experience they know is scarcity. And it's not your job to feed them. They will lose their power to haunt you. Trust in the abundance of spirit. I love how that reading turned out. All right, guys. Well, those are some pretty intense messages. I hope they help somebody figure stuff out because this full moon's coming. And, and, and you really need to alchemize this energy to make it. acceptable for all and this person doesn't seem like they're going to stop just whoever you are be prepared for whatever's coming and you'll be all right trust in spirit spirit's got you i promise those are your messages press the like button subscribe subscribe and share if you enjoyed that and i'll see you next time